Hello, welcome back to my channel. This is Momo. Today, I'm going to be making this mesh lace bodysuit. If you're new here, I make sewing tutorials that are easy to follow. Make sure to subscribe and let's get started. If you have an existing bodysuit, you can just use that as a base and trace out the front and back. But if you don't have one, you can also use a tank top or a t-shirt and pair that up against a pair of underwear and then just trace it out as one piece. Of course, you want to add maybe two to three inches to the crotch area for the snap buttons. Lay down the sleeves and spread it out a little bit just so you can get the entire shape. Trace it out and then extend the sleeve down to your desired length. Now you should have one piece of the front, one piece of the back, and two pieces of the sleeves cut on fold. Sew all of the seams together, including the shoulder seam, the side seam, and the bottom part of the sleeves. Now would be a good time to just try on the bodysuit and make any adjustments you might need. For me, I added darts to the sides by pinching in the extra fabric and just sewing it together. For the dart, don't backstitch at the tip. Instead, leave some thread hanging and tie it into a few knots and then just snip off the extra thread. Let's put the pieces together. Turn the sleeves right side out and insert them into the bodice. Pin everything in place. Sew all the way around the armhole. The neckband consists of two pieces that are two inches deep with a total measurement that is one inch less than the circumference of the neckline. These measurements do not include the seam allowance. I know this might be a little confusing so I've listed these specifics in the description box below. Fold the neckband in half lengthwise and attach it to the neckline. Match up the side seam and sew all the way around. Hem the sleeves by folding it under twice and sewing it in place. This one on top is already completed. Because the lace fabric is really thin and flimsy, I'm going to stabilize the bottom with some lining fabric. Fold it in half lengthwise and attach it to the inside of the bodysuit. Hem the entire bottom part of the bodysuit using either a serger or a zigzag stitch.
secure the loose end using a stray stitch. Make three marks on the lining fabric for placement of the snap buttons. I'm using this set that I purchased off of Amazon. This handy tool makes installing the buttons a lot easier. Before installing snap buttons, I like to just place them on the bodysuit and kind of visualize them just to make sure that I have everything placed correctly. I'm also going to use this little rod that also came with the set to just help secure the snap buttons. And there you have it. This is the finished bodysuit. It is very sheer and I like to pair it with some sort of tank top underneath. Because the bottom part was hemmed using a zigzag stitch, it doesn't leave any lines underneath shorts and pants, or skirts for that matter. I hope you enjoyed, thank you so much for watching as always, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!